verticality, as in you should have keened your peepers upwards. Could have perhaps avoided being modeled into mud. But alas, here we are. Now I bet hard hats no longer seem like the worst idea. At the end of the day, what are things for but to remind you always look out for your well-being, much like these ghostly phantoms stepping over each other into danger. Honestly, I can barely tell them apart, but luckily the heralds have no such qualms. Now I know what you're thinking, cause we are all thinking the same. It is a famous place after all, for exactly the thing we all think is inevitable. But the sunny got straight up shot him, which is in no case saying we all were wrong for thinking that what always happens here would in any way be omitted for chance not today. But again grave danger lies in wait, at every turn unapologetically omnipresent, it is in fact constantly tapping you on the shoulder, even when you don't feel it. The burdensome beasts, these heralds emitting odors, tense as neutron stars, if you'd believe it. My favorite mob's a favorite enemy in this game. Cute as a button. And would you just look at this trollop and turn up looking flower sack of a phantom? Like a stab rat, they all suddenly get nimble when the other shoe is about to drop. Easy come, easy go, rather even faster. Was there ever a more annoying pyromancy? But you are always have to be the bad guy. The baby house seems to be having keeps of fun. He is down for whatever, except for a fight. Not like battle is literally the crux of this game. Good job. Fine, then you have me convinced on your absolute inability that I can't bring myself to stomp on you anymore, so take the back of goodies and be on your merry way. Congratulations. Although a small gesture of gratitude from you would surely not go amiss.